for safety you'll need to do periodically when using blow dry brass is a full horn rinse through. So you take your instrument to a utility sink and get a full stream of water going into the bell and um, you want to move the valves so you get the water going through the entire horn. Now you want to make sure that all your movable slides are at their stops or that you hold them in some way so that they don't come out while you're doing this process and get damaged. Now you'll also invert the horn and put the water through the receiver in. This part is really important because then you can get the water to flow through the uh, water key ports and that's critical because uh, if you fail to do this process when using blow dry brass eventually these ports will become plugged. You can see how easily just running it through the water coming through the ports, water key ports will keep everything working just fine. Once I'm done, I blow the excess water out. Again, make sure you hold the slides or they'll come flying out. And then next, what I'll do is I'll remove the valve end caps. That's an area the blow dry brass can't get to and they'll get rent and dirt from the case. And you may even see a little bit of degraded uh, foam from the bit. Once I clean the valve end caps, then I take a bit, pinch out the uh, alcohol back in the container and I'll run it through to remove the rest of the water from the rinse process out of the horn. I may be, do this maybe once or twice and I may do this rinse through process before I practice if I feel the valves, if I haven't done it while the valves feeling a little sticky then um, I'll take five minutes go down and, and, and do this process and I'll put fresh valve oil through the end caps which is pretty much how I oil my valves now when using blow air brass I keep everything closed up because it stays nice and dry and clean. I also use this opportunity to clean the ramrod and the bit and also the jar. All these areas, all the equipment does get contaminated obviously with, with degraded uh, valve oil and by removing that periodically you'll improve the um, ability of the bit to remove moisture and also the ramrod remove moisture from your mouthpiece. Once you get everything cleaned up then you just uh, dry out, put out Pinch out as much water as you can and add fresh 91% alcohol. And when you're washing the ramrod, you need to be a little careful you don't bend it. But if you do, you can just really straighten it out. The idea again is to fluff it up so that it um, functions as a nice whip when you dry out your mouthpiece after playing. Want to make sure that once you've done this process, you let the ramrod dry out fully before putting it back into the pouch so it doesn't rust. And that's pretty much it.